All right, now we're going to drain the coolant out of it and uh, get all the coolant drained so that we can start taking things apart on the top of the motor. All right, we're, we, we drained the AC system with one of those vacuum recovery things. You had one of them here. And I pulled these lines. And to keep moisture from getting in the AC system while you have the engine apart, you take some freezer baggies or something like this. It's always a good idea to do this, otherwise the dryer accumulator will eventually go bad if you don't. And uh, wrap these lines with some thick plastic so that air can't get in and out of them very well. They don't have to be airtight, but at least sealed quite well so that moisture doesn't get in and out, they don't breathe, things like that. So always cover the AC lines up like this and then you don't have to change the dryer accumulator when you go to put it back together. All right, we took off what? This line? Yeah. Your smaller line going to the right here. Okay. And there's the cross member, yeah. Cross member bar goes right here. Yep. It's got a small clamp. Oh yeah, behind side. it, yeah. And I think that is about it. And we did We did the, the sensor and then we yep. did this tube. Yep. And then we did the main pipe down here. So we goes. got basically everything on this side completely off. completely off. All right. Everybody always asks me on my forum how to get these quick connects off on the bottom of the transmission lines, the transmission cooler. This is the transmission cooler out from under the you know front of the radiator. We can take the radiator off. They have these little blue connectors on them. I think you gotta pop those blue connectors off first. Let's twist it. Okay. Uh, there's like a little black plastic piece there you got to squeeze that you got to get it worked free where it'll work where it'll turn you know it'll it'll work itself and then you got to press in on it you got to press it this way and press in really hard on it and then the line will pop out of there it'll pop loose there you go right. so there we get a little bit of a cool. spill that's a transmission oil, so we can put a pig mat down and get all that oil up. I just wanted to show that on YouTube because everybody always asks me, how do you get that line loose? How do you get that quick connect loose? So I figured I'd show that. What all do you take loose on this side? We got the reservoir for the power steering. We have this other lower radiator hose. The cross member. Of course, we had taken this already earlier. And now we got the two, two bolts in the bottom, one on each side. Yep. This thing's, it's pretty loose. So let's do those. And we took the transmission lines loose underneath. So. Alright, we got the fan off. Now we're going to take this upper radiator hose, I think, next. Let's do that. You can also take these belts off. You got a half inch wrench or uh, ratchet with a long handle. And uh, 
15 millimeter socket main drive belt off with a half inch ratchet I have a YouTube video on how to put these belts on if you ever get stuck on the side of the road and the belt breaks and you don't know how to go back. So you can always look that up on my Roz's collection. So we're going to take some of these lines loose so we can get the last of the coolant out of the system and let it drain into a pan and then uh, that way we can take the, the upper hoses and everything off all right we're taking this fitting here off for the, the coolant drain line for the turbocharger just because it's at a low point in the engine block and it'll drain here instead of having to fight coolant problems or coolant pouring down the side of the motor from the upper fittings up here so We'll open it and that'll help. There you go. Let her drain. Hey, little rich. All right, let's take that pipe off. And when we take those, when we take these uh, cables loose, we need to wrap them really well because I still have power on mine. I, we never took the batteries loose. So they just wrap the cables really good. So we pulled the alternator off, now we're pulling the AC compressor off. Got the power taped yeah, off so it can't short yet. Yeah. Need a bolt. Just leave it on there. Yeah, yeah just leave it on there. You got it rigged up. Alright, so we got the alternator, AC compressor, this wiring harness. Uh, we, we can start moving this wiring harness and getting it over there. And these little hoses, clamps. Start moving the wiring out of the way and the hoses out of the way. <clears throat> I say we get the turbo before we get too far involved with yeah. knocking shit over here. Um, grab the turbo off of it too. All these zip ties and everything have to be cut. Alright, we took the turbo off. Of course, we got the AC compressor and the alternator off now too. Uh, a few of the lines disconnected. Um, I have a YouTube video on how to remove the turbo and put the turbo back on and how to check it and check the actuator and how to recalibrate the turbo and everything. So if you want to see that, it's on Roz.com. I didn't want to make a video on the same thing over and over. So we got the turbo off. Uh, next thing we're going to do is figure out what else we're going to take off. Okay. So uh, I guess let's take this bracket here, this bolt, this bolt, and this nut. We'll move this line here out of our way. So we can remove this harness to the other side, and then we'll take this thermostat housing, we need exhaust manifold housing loose. And then we'll get the EGR cooler, maybe? Or we need to take, you think we need to take this off? Just get out of our way or no? No, it's, it's not in the way. We're going to take the head up. Oh, uh, that's right. We can leave the EGR cooler on there. Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll just take it loose here, and then take all these little lines loose. Okay, cool. Let's all do right. that. All right. 